Hello, Leah. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, June. I'm going to take a look and see who's showing up in your arena and see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, and vice versa as well, guys. Feel free to um, actually, you don't need to really. Um, yeah, as I always say, please just take what resonates, guys, and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, but don't pick up on your story. You can stick around as sometimes on your situation. Um, you can stick around as sometimes, you know, they could be just mess one more messages throughout that dump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting. Okay, so I'm just going to take this in. Um, you might see clarification cards um, here. Just me clarifying the cards. Okay, so I'm just going to take this in and I'll be back. All right, so Leah, let's start your reading. Of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And of course, um, if this isn't your situation, we'll stick around as sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that, you know, just jump out and speak to you. All right. So this is a connection or a situation where you want to fix this. We'll start there with the stars card there. Um, this is something that you want to fix. You want to mend. You want to kind of get back in some way, shape or form. This is something that you've definitely lost or have this feeling of loss around with the five of cups there in your feeling position. But there is, there is this level of fear that you do have around maybe approaching this person. Maybe that fear is coming from a place of you just approaching this person something around maybe you approaching this person and that in itself is kind of keeping you trapped in your head in your thoughts you know negative thinking around maybe how that's going to turn out because there is this um holding back here that you have holding back from taking action yeah and it's due to the, the fear as much as we do have that night of uh wands which talks about you know passion desire excitement there is a fear uh, which is kind of holding you back from taking action when it comes to just healing something with this person or getting this person back or sorting out this situation or just getting it into a better place than it has been or that it is. Yeah. Processing with the four of swords here. The funny thing is though, uh, Leo, is this, this person has nothing but good thoughts about you with a the sun. They're thinking, they have the sun in their thinking. So this is them just kind of seeing you as someone that, you know, has had a positive impact in their life. Someone that has been beneficial to them in some way, shape or form. They see you as, you know, highly attractive, maybe got a lot going for yourself, very driven for some of you as well. Strong physical attraction to you with the lover's card there. And um, we also have that five of swords as well, wanting to come out on top, wanting to get on top of this situation. The interesting thing is as well with that, is that they have the higher sense. So they still, regardless of whether you've been separated from this person, they still have this level of commitment to you, with which is, you know, you're going to, you, which for some of you are going to find quite interesting, even though this person questions with the hermit card there, even though this person questions, you know, whether you found someone new, or whether you're engaged in some form of relationship with the three of cups there. You know, they they you know, they ask themselves those questions. They have deep thoughts about that. Um, they're still they're still very much committed to you. There's a level of strength. It's like okay, if that is the situation. If my Leo has entered into another relationship where they found someone new. It's kind of making them have to feel you know be strong around because they are still very much committed. Yeah, with them showing up as the devil card, I feel like you know this person has been engaging engaging in you know just things that are not beneficial to their their well-being maybe partying a bit too much maybe gambling or drinking or you know drinking a bit too much or engaging in something that's just not beneficial uh to them yeah and i feel like that stems from you know 
them just kind of holding their self in this. And I'm going to say holding pattern because again, it's like, even though there's been some form of separation, they're still committed to this. And, and then, and then on top of that, to go through maybe just thoughts or feelings of you being with someone else, you know, that can take a toll and, and you know, sometimes bring people into a place of indulging in just toxic um, stuff and just engaging in toxic activities. But you're showing up as the ace, you know, ready to just start something new with this person, you know, create something new, build something new with this person because you do care about them, the ace. You know, you do care about them. Some of you is also, you know, ready to offer this person love, maybe something that you hadn't done in, in the past. And you're adamant. There's an adamant with the emperor card. I love the fact. <laughs> so I, you know, it kind of gives you this sense of um, determination. There we go. Gives you this sense of determination and feel like it's needed simply because this person is receptive. It's like this person has been waiting, you know, for this to come back around. I mean, they've been committed, to this, you know, they're still being committed. But for you, I'm not sure why you feel that this way, but there's, there's a lack of clarity around how this is going to turn around. And for some reason, you feel like, you know, you're just constantly thinking about it no, not going well or just ways it could not go well or things not happening or turning out. Yeah, what could go wrong? There we go. What could go wrong? But you do have that page of pentacles there, which talks about wanting to take some form of, um, you know, action down a new path, doing something different. There's a decision around because you're wanting to move towards, we've got, we've got the, the, the sun card there. You wanted to move towards towards this, but... Again, we've got that seven of swords. So I'm not seven of swords, seven of wands. I'm not sure what reaction you feel you're going to get from this person. But let me say, you're not going to get the reaction that you think you're getting. I'm not sure why you've got that fear around this. Um, because uh, this person would love you to approach them. They would love you to get this back, take them out of their misery. Let's say that. Thinking about what they've established with you. Again, we've got that loyalty card there it's just loyal but confused not to say that they don't get confused at times because they do the the seven of cups as long as well as the seven of pentacles as well as the seven of pentacles things not coming about as yet living in hope still being hopeful regardless of how things look this level of, we've got the full card there, this feeling of taking a risk or uh, taking a risk on this or this feeling of, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to do it anyway. What am I going to do? I'm going to remain loyal to this. I'm going to remain loyal to my Leo. Interesting. Interesting read there. Uh -huh. I was going to say, I'm not sure what type of spell you put this person under. But because on some level, they feel good about this. They feel happy. Um, yeah. They do have that Knight of Swords. And then we have that Five of Wands. That could be around maybe doubt or just the neg uh, naysayers. Those that don't agree with this person's, you know, waiting and, you know, just how they're behaving in terms of this relationship. So approach them, and Leo, approach them. There's nothing for you to fear. I feel like you would take this person out of their misery. You know, um, there's no reason for you to fear this person not responding in the way that you would like. It's like they've been waiting. They've been waiting for that. So usually at this point, we move into part two. We're going to get a fuller picture and see where this moves to, see where you both move to when it comes to this spread. Um, but I will be implementing part twos next week, guys, so just look out for that. Um, other than that, hopefully this is giving you some full clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. I will be implementing the single soon as well, guys. So look out for that. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you.